Thanks, Nations in Chile. Sitting beside me is Liron Segev. He owns a mobile applications company called SwiftGo. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Good Morning Africa. Thank you for having me. Mm, nice to meet you, okay. Liron Segev. <laughs> Can you briefly tell us about mobile applications? Sure. Um, mobile applications is effectively an ability to make your smartphone um, more active with more information, makes it more relevant to your day-to-day -day needs. If we recall, when mobile, when mobile phones came out in South Africa, they were small, cumbersome, battery didn't last long. That has all changed dramatically. Mobile phones have become like mini computers. And just like your computer has got different applications, different programs, so has the, mo has the mobile developed into that role at the moment. And how relevant are these applications to our lives? Oh, extremely relevant. We, I'll give you an, an example. Um, you're fetching someone from the airport. Okay. You're sitting at the airport or in the car park, have no idea if the plane has landed yet. So typically what you would do is you would phone the airline to find out whether they've landed. This happened to me and the line was engaged. I thought I will use their website, but I have my phone. So using my phone, I logged into their website, except typically the website wasn't configured correctly for a mobile phone. Um, we're still catching up, South Africa is still catching up in that aspect. Um, had I had the flight checker application, what I could do is very simply put in the flight number into the phone and it will tell me what the status of the flight is. Right now, I had to circle and circle the airport waiting for the passenger that I was waiting, looking to arrive. So it is absolutely vital that we have these applications. And not all applications are the same. Some applications are what they typically call time wasters. So you're waiting for the doctor, you're waiting for an appointment, you can sit in the lounge and play some games. There's a marble that you can roll around the screen. There's lots of those kind of applications. So you don't get bored. Ab <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Keeps you busy all the time. All the time. Mm. Then there's like little cool, funky applications. You've listened to this lovely song on the radio. You have no idea who sings it. You press the button and it will tell you through your phone who the singer is and the lyrics of the, of the, of the song. And it gives you an ability to purchase that song straight to your phone. Little funky little, little little applications. Then of course there's a really, really useful one which is Swift Go and tells you about your I'm traffic sure people situation. would like to know more about Swift Go because you founded Swift Go, right? Correct. Swift Go, if I can tell you about that, what came out of very simple frustration. We all wake up in the morning knowing that we're gonna hit traffic. You know, you're on the way to work, you have no idea where the traffic is going to be, but you know it's going to be there. <laughs> so what we did is we said, well, there's got to be a better way of starting a day without that frustration mm -hmm. and ending the day on the, on, the, on the reverse. So we created an application called SwiftGo. It's an application for the mobile phone that on the phone itself, it will put a map. And on the map, it will display all the locations. See the navigator? Effectively, like you could use a, a, a GPS kind of a system. Okay. It's effectively the same thing. Okay. But it, this time, it will mark on the map where the traffic jams are. So if you're driving and you're looking and you're looking at your map, you'll be able to see that a certain road that you're about to hit has got a traffic congestion. Use an alternative route. Yes. Um, it has done phenomenally well and beyond our expectation. Obviously, everybody hates sitting in traffic, of so course. <laughs> it seems to have taken off quite 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 nicely. Um, and because it's a free application, it obviously helps uh, get it out there as as quickly as possible. Mm. Is this the first of its kind in South Africa? From what we've seen, yes. There's lots of traffic news. There's traffic on the radio, there's traffic on the website, yes. there's traffic via SMS. There's traffic Except on TV. The problem <laughs> is if I'm in my car and I'm driving in a certain direction, the, the man on the radio doesn't know where I'm going. So yes. he, he gives me a list of information all over the country. None of it is relevant to my trip. Yes, he gives you limited information. Absolutely, according to what he's got written. Where Swift Go is different is that it's real time it's love so wherever you're going it's relevant to you so yeah I, um, it helped me get here so, <laughs> <laughs> so would you say swift go is one of the latest applications in mobile devices in south africa from what we've seen in the industry is still new in the country um, what is very very nice and what is our, what i really like about this is south africa is actually making headways around the world and are becoming quite a leader in the mobile platform 
So as opposed to relying on our American cousins and our European people <laughs> to bring information back here, we're actually developing fantastic applications in the country and selling them and taking them out internationally, which is absolutely a nice, a nice, way, nice place to be in. Um, at the end of the day, mobiles in South Africa, everyone has them. Everyone has the mobile. Mobile. You know, you've got one in your purse, you've got one in your bottom drawer, you've got your old upgraded country, that everywhere. And using that, those as a, as a tool for your day-to-day -day business, it's absolutely the right, the right way to go. You never leave home without your cell phone, your wallet, and your keys. <laughs> <laughs> Three important items. No question. <laughs> Do you have any plans of expanding SWIFT go beyond the borders of South Africa to other parts of Africa? Absolutely. We, they, with the African continent, yes. I suppose. The, the limitation that we do face in other countries is that the cell phone needs to talk data to the network, to the cellular network. So it's not a phone call, it needs to talk it's information. data information. Not all that information is available all the time and the networks within Africa, sometimes those data rates are too expensive. So are too prohibitive for, some, for, people to, for people to use. So yes, the plans are definitely there. We're currently in discussions with various players. Um, but it's still, too, it's still too early. And I think the country will get there. It will definitely be evolving so quickly on this, con on this continent. No question, it will get there. Absolutely. Yes. At the moment in South Africa, SwiftGo has kicked off already. And does SwiftGo work with um, the mobile networks such as Vodacom, CellC, and MTN? Absolutely. Um, as long as you've got the correct device, the smartphone, you're able to download the application onto the phone. As so I it say, only it, works with a smartphone? It, it's got to work with the smartphones. Only the smartphone? The smartphones are the ones that will have the maps okay. and will have the ability and the GPS inside the phone to be able to make it work. Again, it's no point in knowing that there's a traffic congestion on a road that's completely not related to you. So therefore, you have to have a situation where the phone knows where you are and therefore can feed you the relevant, the relevant information. So regardless whether you're Vodacom, MTN, Celsi, any other provider that comes through, whether you're on contract or prepaid, it's irrelevant as well. Um, as long as you've got the right phone, download the application, off you go. No commitments, go big. <laughs> so, um, Sweet Go uh, has got its successes, and I'm sure it's also got its limitations as well. Sure. Can you tell us about the limitations of Sweet, of Sweet Go? A lot of, a lot of the initial, you know, when you develop something new, we, we like to open up to a small testing group. What happened was we had a leak in the group. <laughs> Someone saw that this was a wonderful application and they made the assumption that everybody could be able to use it. And they forwarded it to all their friends and family. We were inundated with queries saying, well, why doesn't it work for this phone? Why doesn't it work for that phone? How come in this? So we've now managed to curtail that. We've understood that top requested phones are a certain makes of phones and our development team is currently working to make the application available on those, on those particular phones. At the end of the day, the, it needs a smartphone, as we, as we said, and it needs a specific type of phone with, to have with the GPS that, that's built in. Once we get around those, it's part of the network, and whether you have an iPhone, a Blackberry, a Nokia, it will all just simply work. And how can people get a hold of you or people gain more information about SwiftGo if they are interested in having that device on their cell phones? The simplest way is via our internet. It's www.swiftgo.co.za. Mm. So just a snap and they get Absolutely. in there <laughs> and they get what they want. And they don't get stuck in traffic doing that. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't get stuck in traffic. <laughs> I bet you on that one. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much, Liron, for coming on Good Morning Africa. Thank you. We've been discussing with Liron Sergeyev, and he is the founder of a mobile application called SwiftGo. If you want to gain more information, you're interested in having the device on your cell phone, please log on to swiftgo.co.za or alternatively send a mail to our office, which is gma at planetimage.co.za. From me, Quinette, is goodbye. And right now, I'm handing back to Nations and Sheila. <laughs>